just in a rare public appearance by former First Lady Melania Trump. You just missed her. That's her walking out that door right there. She literally just left. So rare she's gone already. Uh, the location of it all, though, was seconds ago notable. Seeing as Kristen Holmes following this for us. So where was she and what was she doing? Well, this is actually an uncharacteristically personal speech from the former first lady. We never see her. I mean, I've been covering Donald Trump uh, now this entire campaign. She's only been out once with him, and it was when he made his announcement. She's often behind closed doors. And she talked about her immigration process and her path to becoming a naturalized citizen. Take a listen to some of what she said. Throughout our lives, we cross thresholds and all thought. Obstacles often stand in the way of our goals. We persevere as we understand that conquering them will provide great access to personal development, fulfillment, and even eventually self actualization There was also something else she said that I found to be remarkable, and this was it. She said, my personal experience of traversing the challenges of the immigration process opened my eyes to the harsh realities people face, including you, for trying to become a U.S. citizen. And then, of course, there are the nuances of understanding United States immigration laws. The reason why this is so remarkable is because it comes at a time that former President Trump is pledging that if reelected, he would make that process even harder. And you could actually hear her walk through all of the hoops that she had to jump through and how she was lucky in certain circumstances to become a naturalized citizen. Uh, so it almost appears in juxtaposition to what her husband has been saying out on the campaign trail. And I will note, again, as you mentioned, the National Archives does have significance here as well. Part of the reason that Donald Trump has been indicted stemmed from the National Archives, who asked the Department of Justice to open investigation into Donald Trump's handling of classified documents after he left office. That subsequently led to an indictment of Donald Trump. We expect that trial to likely be in May. Uh, but again, uh, this was a pretty unique experience here. And listening to her when you see him on the campaign trail, uh, that was striking. Yeah, juxtapositions galore, one might say. Kristen Holmes, thank you very much. Please join me in welcoming Mrs. Melania Trump and congratulations to our new citizens. Good morning. Thank you, Dr. Shogun, for your introduction and for your kind invitation to celebrate this incredible moment. Thank you, Judge Gunn, for leading the Oath of Alliance. MacArthur High School students, you are the future leaders, and knowing the meaningful words of our Constitution's preamble will empower you in the, the next chapters of your life. It is my privilege to share this great nation, America, with you. Throughout our lives, we cross thresholds. And all thought, obstacles often stand in the way of our goals. We persevere as we understand that conquering them will provide great access to personal development, fulfillment, and even eventually self actualization For me, reaching the milestone of American citizenship marked the sunrise of certainty. At that exact moment, I forever discarded the layer of burden connected with whether I would be able to live in the United States. I hope you are blanketed with similar feelings of comfort right now. Finally, I could plan all of the aspects of my life. I recall feeling a tremendous sense of pride and belonging after I recited the United States Oath of Alliance, as the pathway to citizenship is arduous. I was born and raised in the picturesque country of Slovenia, where my parents taught me the importance of a strong work ethic, 
and pursuing my dreams. The values they installed in me at an early age inspired my fashion and modeling career and brought me to the beautiful cities of Paris and Milan. While working internationally had its share of rules and regulations, it wasn't until I moved to New York City in 1996 that this system truly tested my determination. Upon my arrival, I immediately knew that I wanted to make the United States my permanent home. With the goal of securing a worker visa, I began researching, visiting consulates and embassies, and then compiling the required records of my work experiences. Quickly, my life turned into a labyrinth of organizing paperwork. Back then, the convenience of technology's document filing didn't really exist to the extent it does today. Patience and perseverance became my constant companions as I navigated through this intricate web, which I'm sure you can all relate to. Even if every time consuming, my dream of becoming a citizen pushed me to meticulously gather every last piece of information required, ensuring that no detail was overlooked. My personal experience of traversing the challenges of the immigration process opened my eyes to the harsh realities people face, including you, who to try to become US citizens. And then, of course, there are nuances of understanding the United States immigration laws and the complex legal language contained therein. I was very devoted, but I certainly was not an attorney. And eventually, it pro provided critical for me to, to retain counsel. I was fortunate to do so, as ultimately my journey was streamlined and brought me over the finish line as a naturalized citizen. While challenges were numerous, there were rewards were well worth effort. I applaud you for every step you took, every obstacle you overcome, and every sacrifice you made. It is an honor to stand with you in these hollow halls today in the presence of the Declaration of Independence, the very document on which our founding fathers carefully composed the words that capture the ideals surrounding individual liberty and this great republic. Arguably, one of the most important documents of all time. Becoming an American, Citizen comes with responsibility. It means actively participating in the democratic process and guarding our freedom. It also means leading by example and contributing to our society. It is a life-altering experience that takes time, determination, and sometimes even tremendous strength. You are now a part of a nation with a rich history of progress, innovation, and resilience. Though you come from 25 different countries, your dreams and inspirations intertwine with those who came before you since 1776 and together shaped the future of this extraordinary country. Be proud of yourself, stand your ground, and embrace the opportunities that lie ahead. You are American. Be a beacon of inspiration for your children and those who follow in your footsteps. May your journey continue to be filled with endless possibilities, and may your contributions enrich the fabrics of this great nation. Congratulations again.